Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Mad Scientist Brewing Beer Education Series. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the topic of beer storage, uh, the way that you can uh, ensure your best quality for your beer by keeping it uh, in premium condition. Uh, so let's jump right into it first. Uh, cheers. I was looking for for this episode of beer to drink that is uh, got a Best Buy date on it, which I'm sticking with this uh, holiday holiday ale that I got. Um, you know, as the holidays are now over, these dates are coming by quickly, so want to get those drinking so that they'll still be fresh. Uh, so the first point I want to talk about is that beer should almost always be consumed fresh from the brewery. So when beer is released from the brewery, it is ready to be drunk, and generally you want to drink it sooner than later, right after it leaves the brewery. Plenty of beers require a certain amount of maturation, especially lagers, uh, but this is all done by the cellarman at the brewery. Uh, the staff at the brewery will run tests to make sure that the product is conforming to brand expectations before packaging and releasing it to the public. So you can expect as soon as it hits the shelf that it is um, sold just as the brewer intended. It's particularly important to drink beer fresh for certain styles of beer, particularly hoppy beers or lighter colored beers and low alcohol and especially non-alcoholic beers. Uh, these beers are a lot more susceptible to having their characteristic properties change over time and can develop off flavors or off coloration if they're sitting around for too long. Uh, there are, are a few types of beers as an exception that can be aged under proper conditions to introduce new flavors or to mellow out some existing really intense flavors. These beers should have some factor in them that inhibits the degradation so long as the beers are stored properly. The best candidates for aging beer are beers that are very high alcohol, sour beers, or barrel-aged beers. Again, this applies to beers which are aged under proper storage conditions. This means keeping beer at cellar temperature, which is about 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit, and out of direct light. Most people would say 6 to 12 months is the right amount of time to age a beer, but even this is subjective to the style of beer and personal preference. Um, so what can the wholesaler or the retailer do at the store to ensure that they're getting fresh beer? and that the fresh beer then gets to you. Once they receive the beer, what are they going to do? Also, well, like other perishable food items, it's important to keep a rotating inventory of product. Sellers should expect to keep track of inventory to know when product came in and sell the older beer first, so it doesn't stay on the shelf past its best by date. Uh, a sort of example of this is I just picked up some of this uh, London Pride a few months ago from a store, which I won't name because this isn't necessarily their fault, um, but I just checked on this beer and realized that it is actually past its best by date uh, today, not when I bought it, but it can come up pretty quickly for a beer that you don't sell a whole lot of very often. Uh, so the store will want to keep an eye out for out-of-date product and remove it from inventory to take it off the shelves. Bottled and canned beer should have a production date stamped somewhere on them that signifies either the date the beer is made. Uh, sometimes it will instead have a best by date. Uh, as in the case of this London Pride, it mentions that uh, it was best before the 8th of this month, which has now passed. Um, so it's important to know the difference, though. I made a mistake once when I was younger. I worked at a grocery store in college, and I had to restock items in the beer aisle one day. Uh, I was used to working in the dairy aisle, and so, you know, with dairy products, uh, there's a very firm sell-by date for those, and if it's past that, you got to take it off. So when I was loading the beer, I noticed that the date on the first package was two weeks past, so I took it off. Uh, and then after I was checking more and more, seeing that they were all two weeks off or, uh, you know, and past the date that was on there, I started getting freaked out and taking all the packages. And by the time I was halfway down the aisle taking all the beer off, somebody told me that the date on there is when the beer was manufactured, not when it's best by date. So it's funny to think about now, but it was pretty embarrassing at the time. So if it doesn't have a best by date, what is the best way to determine when a beer is reaching its limits for best quality? For draft beer, it depends on whether the beer has been pasteurized or not. Non-pasteurized kegs can remain fresh for about 45 to 60 days, while pasteurized kegs can remain fresh for about 90 to 120 days. This only applies to kegs which are kept refrigerated. If left at room temperature, the shelf life decreases significantly. Whether you're a restaurant or have a kegerator at home, you should keep your inventory such that you can accommodate all kegs at 35 degrees Fahrenheit or 3 degrees Celsius. For bottles and cans, refrigerated beer can stay fresh for up to six months. Some styles, like 
certain hoppy beers are more susceptible to age and may only have a three month shelf life when refrigerated. Bottles and cans which are not refrigerated may have noticeable off flavors after just three months. No matter how the beer is packaged, refrigeration is best, and if not possible, the inventories at the retail store are best kept small and the beer sold quickly. With all the options for craft beer available and limited fridge space, it's very common to see bottles and cans stored at room temperature. So be sure to look for a package date and get the freshest product you can. If you find a bottle that's been gathering dust in a shop, it's probably not gonna taste the way it's supposed to. Something to keep in mind if your experience tasting a beer ends up different from what others have had to say about it. Now let's talk about the best way to store beer properly for freshness, whether you're a retailer or keeping it at home. The first storage principle, as already described, is to store the beer cold. Non-refrigerated storage accelerates aging and development of off flavors. All beers eventually develop signs of oxidation, which is a chemical reaction going on with different organic molecules in the beer that lead to decreased hop flavor and aroma, a shift towards honey and caramel malt flavors, and ultimately an unpleasant cardboard or wet newspaper taste. If you have bottle conditioned or unfiltered beers with a yeast still present, you eventually will get kind of a meaty or soy sauce flavor as the dead yeast breaks down. There may also be off flavors derived from microbial contamination if the beer was not properly handled at the brewery. And moving beer from cold to room temperature storage and vice versa will not inherently damage the beer's flavor, uh, but cold storage is still best and the warmer the beer is stored, the faster the off flavors will develop. Beer should not be allowed to be stored in excess of 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius as this leads to rapid flavor degradation. The second consideration for storing beer is to protect it from light. Most people have experienced the unpleasant, skunky aroma that comes from a chemical reaction with certain hop drive compounds and light. This reaction can occur in as little as a few seconds of exposure to light, whether it's sunlight, fluorescent lights, or LEDs. The packaging for beer has a big impact on the effect of light. The majority of glass beer bottles are brown because that color offers very good protection against skunking blocking about 98 percent of light the next worst after that are green bottles which only block 20 percent of light and the absolute worst are a clear glass which blocks zero percent of light on the under, other end of that you have cans kegs and ceramic bottles which block all light and offer the best protection so in summary to ensure the best beer experience you need to pay attention to its storage from when it left the brewery to when it went into your glass Pay attention to production dates on the package to ensure you're drinking fresh beer that, if possible, has been stored cold and reasonably protected from light at the store. When you take it home, keep it cold and out of direct light and drink it soon. If you've got a beer that is a candidate for aging, make sure it's done at cellar temperature and enjoy it within six months to a year. All right, that's all I've got for today. So uh, until next time, I uh, hope you are enjoying some fresh beer and Cheers.